Sky Screamers, the massive trio of SNS drop towers at Marine Land in Canada. This attraction is notable not only for its sheer size, but it also offers one of the most stunning views of any attraction overlooking Niagara Falls. Find out why this makes it one of the world's best drop towers in this review. Marine Land is just two miles from Niagara Falls, but many of the rides are too short to offer a view of the picturesque falls. Marine Land fixed this problem in 2004 when they unveiled Sky Screamer. This is marketed as the world's tallest triple tower ride. The tower itself lifts you 300 feet or 91 meters high, which isn't where the record comes from. SNS has actually built taller triple towers. Sky Screamer is placed atop a 150 foot or 46 meter tall hill, so you're a grand total of 450 feet or 137 meters above the ground. This is where the record comes from. The actual structure is even taller than the ride's advertised height because you have this ornate topper brandishing the park's name above it. This ride feels every bit as tall as it is from the top, and it's an absolute icon for the park. Sky Screamer can be seen from miles away. This attraction photobombs many pictures of Niagara Falls. It is impossible to miss this hulking ride from anywhere within the park because it's smack dab in the center, and the loud compressed air turns heads towards it every time it cycles. This ride song was also one of the catchiest advertising campaigns I've ever heard. Take a listen. There's magic up on the mountain high. Buckle up your seats, you're heading to the sky. It'll blast you up, then blast you down. You'll laugh and scream until you touch the ground. Come on, scream as loud as you can. Sorry for getting that stuck in your head, but I had to. Getting to Sky Screamer is a hike, literally. Remember that hill it's located atop? This ride is only accessible by a single pathway that spirals around it. At a brisk pace, it takes nearly 3-4 to four minutes to ascend this path, and it's the only thing up there. It's tiring, especially because you're probably going to do a lot of other walking around Marine Land, but it is worth it for this ride. Even if you have no intention of riding Sky Screamer, the plaza atop the hill offers some solid views of the rest of Marine Land. Sky Screamer opens daily at noon. This is very clearly marked by a permanent sign at the base of the hill, and I pity anyone who misses it. While this ride has three towers, I have only seen one in use in both my visits to the park. And that's fine because that's all Marine Land needs. This ride has always been a walk-on for me. That's a combination of the low crowds this park sees and the ride's annoying location. Like many rides at Marine Land, this one features a long covered queue line. After you breeze through it, you're free to choose any seat you'd like, and I strongly recommend the side facing Niagara Falls. If you're unsure which direction that is, ask the operator. The other sides offer better views of Marine Land, but it's nothing compared to the beauty of an iconic waterfall. Riders are secured by a familiar over the shoulder restraint. This one was also retrofit with seat belts that come across your lap a few years ago like many of these SNS towers have. This does take away some of the ride's airtime when I first rode it, but it is still there. Once dispatched, you slowly raise into the air. You'll hear the echo of the compressed air tanks as you await your launch. Once the sound cuts off, you blast towards the sky moments later. While the launch is predictable if you've ridden other SNS towers and know the sounds of them, this one has considerable more force to it. You feel some positive Gs as you rocket towards the sky, at the top, you get some great floater airtime, more so than many SNS space shots. And this is even more magical when paired with that breathtaking view. But don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to take it in. Sky Screamer is a combo tower, so after that space shot launch, you are slowly raised back to the top. In a smart move, this one holds you at the top longer than other SNS drop towers. You wait at the top in complete serenity for several seconds admiring the view, before the tanks even begin to charge. Typically you're held up there for 12 to 13 seconds. The drop is sudden and forceful at the start. You get a good but brief pop of ejector airtime. Like many SNS turbo drops, the drop does mellow out pretty quickly and it feels controlled for the rest of the descent. SNS drops just cannot match the power of their competitors like Intamin or Larson. This one instead thrives in the visuals as you drop. 
the pullout delivers a nice impulse of positives as you bounce back up. That is something the competition cannot offer. You then gently bob up and down, eventually returning back down to the ground, ending the experience. So what would I rate Skyscreamer? I would give this trio of drop towers a 9 out of 10. Skyscreamer is the best attraction in Marineland. This is one of the best drop towers in the world, especially out of the SNS ones. That's mainly because of this ride's placement and views. The ride is a pain to access, but you can see it for miles between the combined height of the hill and tower. Most importantly, you get a gorgeous view of Niagara Falls. Then the ride is good power for an SS model between the launch and drop. It cannot match the intensity of the towers from other manufacturers, but tell me, who else put a drop tower in a location like this? So those are my thoughts on Skyscreamer at Marineland. What are your thoughts on this giant drop tower? Do you like the ride experience and view as much as me? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.